afternoon, welcome to the dyno. Uh, today we've got, uh, well I say dyno, we've got two dynos at the moment as you can see. Uh, don't ask, uh, we're just trying, trying a different dyno at the moment. So uh, yeah, got two dynos squashed into one dyno room. Um, but today's video is on this Suzuki Jimny and the individual throttle body kit that we offer for, uh, for these. So uh, we've done the Ignis M15A um, and uh, we also do the M13A uh, individual throttle body kit for uh, for the Jimny. Uh, this is a great little car, uh, most entertaining I think I've had on the dyno in some time. Um, we've uh, had this customer buy the kit from us and he's fit it. Uh, well he's done some of the fitting and then we've done some of the fitting for him as well. Uh, sorry about the light behind me, it's a bit awkward in there to get it uh, looking good but uh, yeah we've got um, basically our individual throttle body kit can see there utilizing some GSXR throttle bodies um, we've had to do a little bit of extension on the throttle cable to get that to fit if I can actually move the camera around so you can see it so yeah the uh, original throttle cable doesn't quite isn't quite long enough so we've done a little extension for that um, we've fitted the ME221 loom and ECU um, and we've also fitted our crank trigger wheel kit so um, that gives it a 36 minus one trigger pattern like a Ford, um, and that allows the ECU to uh, to run these throttle bodies. So um, I will show you that. I'll get under the car, and you can actually see see how that's done. Um, we can provide the wheel that's already drilled and ready to basically bolt onto that front pulley, so it'll work for the M13 and M15A. Uh, like I say, these are GSXR throttle bodies, uh, 40 millimeter on this particular model. Um, and uh, being a 1300 engine that's absolutely plenty um, but yeah this this is a cracking little car i'll do a little bit of a noise video for you um, you can check it out and um, there'll be a power graph at the end uh, i will link the product in the description so yeah please like and subscribe and if you uh, are looking to purchase a throttle body kit for your jimny uh, there it is that's the one for you okay right so here's a bit of um we'll, i'll run over the crank sensor and then we'll do a bit of a dyno video Okay, so here we are underneath the uh, the Jimny, and um, we've got our trigger wheel kit here for the M13 and M15A engines. And uh, to try and show you as best I can, um, we've got a basic Ford ZTEC crank sensor, uh, our 36 minus one trigger wheel, uh, which has been bolted to the front pulley, as you can see in two places. And uh, behind that pulley is a couple of little spacers just to take the load from the, the clamping down of the bolts. Uh, and then we've got our universal bracket there which is mounted to a specific bracket that you can see there just mounted to the front of the block in two positions hopefully you can see that uh, so yeah that's our trigger setup that uh, this car has done amazingly well this has done 109 brake horsepower which is which is quite quite an increase over I think somewhere in the mid 80s 185 uh, brake uh, standard uh, we've still got standard exhaust on there as well which is uh, really quite impressive so I'm, I'm super pleased with that I think the customer will be too I uh, just thought I'd mention we've so we've got the ME221 uh, down in the footwell you probably can't see it down there but um, yeah that's all been pulled through the bulkhead and wired in we've actually left the original ECU in place and powered uh, and that allows the um, the taco to still work um, so there were and any other uh, vehicle functions that are required and it's still running off its old crank sensor because obviously we put a new crank sensor on there uh, so yeah 109 brake horsepower uh, if you want to set for your uh, for your Jimny or your Ignis Sport uh, do get in touch and please like share and subscribe thank you Mm-hmm.